A pleasant day to each and everyone. This is Teacher RR, a Cidre for your health subject. And welcome to the third quarter for our last. So now, I will be presenting a topic about the medicine and its uses. So this is our first topic for the third quarter. Okay, so welcome to my lesson, to my class in health, grade four. As I've said, our topic for today is all about the medicine and its uses. So in here, in this lesson, we will be learning all about how to describe the uses of medicine. And we will also, it is also our objective to differentiate the prescription medicine from non-prescription medicine. And also to give examples of prescription medicine and non-prescription medicine. Then of course, to identify forms of medicine. Okay, we have here a question. So I want you to get a piece of paper and a ball pen or a pencil and answer this one for in, in two minutes. Okay, so here's the question. Why is it always important to take your medicine only under adult supervision? Your timer starts now. Okay, time's up, everyone. So again, the question is, why is it always important to take your medicine only under adult supervision? So when you are sick, you get better by getting enough rest and drinking fluid. But sometimes, your family gives you medicine in some circumstances. Or a doctor also pres prescribes medicine that will help cure your illness. There are different medicines for different types of illness. You know that drinking medicine will help ease your pain, but have you ever wondered about these different types of medicines and how it helps you? Okay, so let us go and explore these. First, let us define what is medicine. It is said that any substance or substances used in treating diseases or illnesses or medicaments and remedies. It is also said that medicine is a legal drug or medicines are legal drugs 
used to cure illness, relieve pain, prevent the spread of diseases, and prolong life. So we have common forms of medicine. First, we have the tablets. We also have the capsules. We also have the liquids like solution, suspension, or emulsion. We also have the typical skin preparation like creams, ointments, and lotion. We also have the injection solution. We also have the suppository, the drops, and last but not the least is the inhaler. Medicines are offered in accurate dosage and in convenient ways so that it is easier for customers to take them. So we also have the medical uses for drugs, okay, or for the medicine. So medicine and drugs are considered as the same, but it only depends on how to use this one. First, the medical uses for drugs. First, we have the therapeutic used in treatment such as antihistamine for allergies. The diagnostic used in radiology such as borium for x-rays. We also have the curative or curative used to kill the causative agent in a disease such as antibiotic. Replacement used to replace substances normally found in the body, such as hormones. Preventative or prophylactic, used to lessen severity or ward of diseases, such as immunization. So, in medical or in the medicines, medicines can be used in different ways. So, as I've said, it can be used for preventing sickness or diseases, Children like you are given immunizations to prevent, to prevent you from catching serious illnesses like measles and mom. There are also what we call the flu immunization are usually given as a shot, but sometimes they are in liquid form to be taken orally. It is also to fight illnesses or diseases. There are many types of medicines used to fight illnesses, one of which is antibiotic. As I've said, antibiotics can fight different kinds of bacteria. When you have sore throat, the doctor prescribes you the right antibiotic to cure it or make us feel better. Medicines relieve the pain that we experience when we are sick. It controls the symptoms, and relaxes the body. Taking medicine such as aspirin for headache or cough syrup for a cough helps us feel better. Applying cream to bug bite helps you feel less itchy. Okay? So when, um, when uh, an insect bites you, you can use cream to less the itchy. Also, it helps the body function normally. Sometimes, a part of the body cannot produce sufficient levels of certain chemicals or the chemical substances to function normally. People with insulin-dependent diabetes, for instance, have pancreas that cannot produce enough insulin Okay, a hormone that regulates glucose in the body. Some people also have a low production of thyroid hormone, which help control the body use energy. The doctors can prescribe medicines to help the body function normally or to boost the immune system. Some children of your age may need vitamins and mineral supplements to boost immune system, support your normal growth, and help the cell and organ to do their jobs. So why do people use medicine? Okay, so all these uses show how medicine can help protect 
or prevent you from get, getting sick. And if you get, uh, get sick, or if you get sick, it can help to cure, uh, or it helps to cure you. These medicines are available through prescription of a doctor or over the counter or the OTC. Okay, so let us talk about what is the undesirable actions of drugs. So the side effects. So side effects or the undesirable action that may limit usefulness. While the drug interaction, one drug potentially increases or diminishes the action of another, or drugs may also interact with food, alcohol, and etc. Also, we also have what we call the adverse reaction, unfavorable or harmful unintended action, such as allergic reaction. So that is what we call the adverse reaction. So prescription and OTC drugs or the over-the-counter drug. People like us or like your parents can buy some medicines in a store. Do you agree? Okay, so without a doctor's prescription, these medicines are called the non-prescription non medicines or the over-the-counter drug. You know not need, you do not need a prescription from a doctor to buy these medicines as they are available for everyone or for available for anyone. These medicines are usually taken by consumers to relieve minor symptoms like fever and are usually taken by Okay, sorry, I lost my connection. Okay, so again, we are already in the prescription and uh, over-the-counter drugs. So you don't need a prescription from a doctor to buy these medicines. So uh, these uh, over-the-counter drugs are usually taken by consumers to relieve minor symptoms like fever and the product is chosen based on the self-care decision. There are insert labels which give instruction to consumers like the right amount of the medicine to be taken, when to use the medicine and how the medicine should be taken. Example of these medicines are the ones you see on the shelves of the drugstore. So I, uh, did you already see a drugstore? Okay. So because people can take them off the shelf and pay for them at the checkout counter. So they are called as over-the-counter or OTC or over-the-counter drug or medicine. OTC medicines can be used by more than one person. However, medicines because of the risk contamination, such OTC medicines are not recommended for sharing like eye drops and ointments. So we are not allowed to do sharing, especially ointments and uh, um, eye drops, okay, especially this time of pandemic. These include aspirin and other analgesic cold remedies antihistamines and allergy products like medicated creams, lotions, and powder, vitamins, laxatives, antiacid, and eye drops. So prescription drugs are available only by recommendation of an authorized health professional such as physician, while the non-prescription or over-the-counter or OTC drugs are available on request and do not require approval from health professionals. So we have here an example of a prescription. 
Okay, as you can see. So it is uh, stated the name of the patient, the date of birth, and the medication, amount of amount of the medicine or the prescription, the strength, the frequency, the refill, the route, the spill out, and the date of uh, when the prescription given and the signature of the physician. So this is an example of prescription. Okay, here is a question. Why can you not take the same medicine prescribed to your sibling? So, this is a reason why you cannot use or share your medicines to anyone else. These medicines can be dispensed only from a pharmacy or a licensed pharmacy. Okay, so those prescription medicines. So these are usually more powerful than OTC medicine or medication. This can be used to treat both minor ailments and more serious diseases and illnesses and can be harmful if misused. Okay, example of this uh, medicine that needs prescription are the pain reliever, antibiotics, and anti-inflammatory. So, why can you not take the same medicine prescribed to your sibling? Remember, whether a medicine or drug is prescription or non-prescription, there are guidelines. Okay? The guidelines of proper use for health reasons and safety purposes. It is important to always read the instructions fully before taking any medicine. Children like you should not take any medicine without the supervision of your parent or trusted or any trusted adult to avoid its harmful effects. Make sure all medicines are stored safely and out of the reach of your younger brothers or sister. Now, why is it important to know the different types of medicine? Okay, so you are going to answer that question so you are going to answer uh, this question in a piece of paper and then you will submit your answer to me by sending it in our group chat. You can do a research in a Google or you can ask some person who can help you to answer this one and, and, and take a screenshot or picture of your answer and then send it to our group chat. I will be waiting only after you watch this video, I will be waiting for your answer. Okay, I will give you two days to submit your answer. So I hope that um, you learn a lot for this lesson. And I hope that we will know already the proper use of medicine and its uses, how it is being used by consumers like us. Okay? And aside from that, I want you to answer uh, on your book, page 81. Let's practice letter A, letter B, and letter C. Again, page 81. Describing uses of medicine, letter A, letter B, identifying prescription medicine and non-prescription medicine, and letter C, comparing prescription medicine from non-prescription medicine. Page 81 for the health book. So thank you so much, everyone, and I hope we've learned a lot for this topic. God bless us all. Again, this is Teacher RR for your health subject. May God Bless us all. Goodbye, everyone.